Hello and welcome to this new episode in which you will discover the power of belting and how you can use this technique to sing high powerful notes diva style. Let's dive into it. Here we go. Welcome back to this new episode in which we are going to cover the power of belting. And if you don't know what belting is, it's basically a vocal technique that you can use to sing high, powerful notes. Um, singers that use it are Christina Aguilera, Adele, Sam Smith, all the big names, basically. Whitney Houston, uh, they're all singing those high, powerful notes. And there's one technique, well, there's many techniques, but one main technique to help you do that, and that is belt. Now, something that beginner singers often do is just scream when they're thinking that they're belting. So they might hear a Christina Aguilera song and then try to copy that. And when they do, when they are copying her, they're literally just screaming instead of applying the technique. And we don't want to have that because screaming can be dangerous for the vocal cords. Also, what beginner singers do is that they apply the belt in a song for a longer period of time. And we're actually going to discover today that it's all about balance and um, using that dynamic development of a song to your advantage. Also, many beginner singers, they're not aware that this is something that you can actually learn and train. Many singers, they think, well, either you have it or you don't. I, I worked with a singer once and she said, well, my voice is pretty soft. I always sing in head voice, right? So belting, that's not for me. Although I would love to be able to sing like Whitney Houston. And sure enough, we did some exercises and she as well um, learned it. And it's a matter of training your voice. And that's what brings us into that world of the confident and trained singer. That is ultimately where we all want to end up. Because once you get into that world of the trained singer, then you know exactly how to use the different vocal techniques in order to support you in creating that vocal sound that you want to create. Whether that's the high powerful notes or the soft high notes, right? You know exactly the techniques that support you with that. And today we're going to be talking about belting, but again, there's many others to discover. Also, once you are in that trained and confident singer world, you can belt for a longer period of time because you're using the right vocal techniques. So earlier I said that many beginner singers, they're just screaming at the top of their lungs and that's what causes hoarseness. If you're applying this technique the right way, then you can actually do it for a longer period of time without having any hoarseness. And also the trained singer has the ability to switch between different techniques. For example, going from belt to mix belt and then back to mixed voice, for example. And I know I'm throwing a lot of technical terms your way um, just to show you that belt is, it's just one, it's the tip of the iceberg. There's so many other techniques to, to really discover. And really belt is a more advanced technique. And if you want to start at the beginning, I invite you to join a free training that is coming up. It's called Discover the Most Important Vocal Technique. And it really is. It's not belting. <laughs> We're going to be talking about our larynx position, which is one of the most important vocal techniques to really get that vocal freedom so that you can sing high notes, low notes, all the notes in between. So I would highly suggest that you start there. I will link to that training in the description here down below so that you can do that. It's a free training. So go and register for that. That being said, belt again is a more advanced technique and it's really actually something that you can look at once you have those foundations in place. But that being said, let's still see what it is and find out how you can apply that. Now, before we do so, I do need to tell you, we always operate from our four big pillars of the Sing Yourself to Freedom formula, which is the formula that I created um, and, and that we use in the Singing Insiders as well, which is our community and membership for passionate singers. But this formula is really the blueprint that you need in order to develop yourself 
as a singer. And today we're diving deeper into the vocal technique pillar, which is all about training the voice and training your muscles, right? So let's dive into it. So let's start here with a simple question. What is belt? Let me give you the answer to that question by demonstrating um, belt because it really is a sound quality. I can talk about it all day, but it's going to be much more clear when I do it and when you hear the difference. So here is a piece of a song that I sing without belting. So this is no belt. What have I become? My sweetest friend. Everyone I know goes away in the end. Heard by Johnny Cash. Love it. Anyway, that is sung without any belting. Now I'm going to belt it. Listen and hear the difference between the two. Did you notice the difference? If so, what did you notice? Well, first of all, you might have noticed that my volume is way louder in the second one when I imply when I apply belt. So belting is basically healthy screaming. That's how I call it. And the key word here is really healthy. We want it to be healthy. So not just screaming, but healthy screaming. And in order to do that, we need to have one basic ingredient, which is twang. Now, if you have not heard anything about twang, we've got other episodes going through that in more depth. But for now, twang really basically is a very sharp, bright, and even ugly sound. It kind of sounds like this. So oftentimes I tell my students that um, people who are from the US, they sometimes have an accent where twang is natural in their sound. So <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to laugh, but um, if I try to imitate that, that would sound like, hi, I'm from America and I'm speaking a lot of twang now. Now I don't want, I have nothing against Americans. I actually love them. I spent a year in San Francisco, but this is something that is quite common in people from there because they have this natural twang in their voice which is amazing that's what we're looking for so try it with me try and say hi my name is and then say your name with a lot of twang my name's maggie and i speak with a lot of twang beautiful now let's try and put that into our song so i sang it before we're just gonna use two um two lines from that song heard by johnny cash if you don't know it just rewind the video or the podcast episodes where you're watching or listening in from. Uh, but rewind so that you can sing along. We're not going to focus on learning the song. We're focusing on applying the belt. Um, so rewind so that you can sing along. And now let's try and apply that twang on those two sentences. Okay. Wah, wah, wah. Let's try it. One. Well, should I say ugly? Because <laughs> that's what we were going after. So belt or twang, sorry, twang really is this ugly sound. And that's the basic ingredient for a belt. Now, obviously, we don't want to have that twang like present for the full 100%. We want to try and use the twang, but still have a beautiful sound. And that's where we're going to start to shape that that twang sound. So instead of going for 100% of twang, let's dial it back to 65%, for example. Now, besides that, our breath support is super, super important for this belting technique. So it's basically twang and good breath support and projection. But twang really is the basics of everything. So let's try that again 
we're staying in our chest voice, we're adding 65% of twang, we're having our core muscles activate, in other words, my breath support is there, and I'm projecting my sound forward. I'm not afraid to sound loud. This is another big mistake that many singers do when they're learning belt, is that they're afraid to disturb their neighbors or someone in the area listening to you. And because they're afraid of that, they're holding back, which, which makes the sound be more inside of you and that, that holding back causes um, tension. We don't want to have that. So project your sound outward, have your breath support and keep that twang, but at 65%. Let's try that. If you can do all of those things, then you're belting, my friend. Here we go. Now, it might be that you've lost the twang, it might be that you had too much twang, or maybe you had the perfect amount of twang, which is great. Let's do that again, because I know this is, this is a, a treasure hunt for a belt, right? This is a technique, as I said, this is more advanced, because you need to have some things in place, like good breath support, projection, and twang. We need to have those three in place to really get that healthy screaming sound. So let's do that one again. That deserves a virtual high five. <laughs> well done. And if this is a difficult um, technique for you, that's totally normal. As I said, it's a more advanced vocal technique. You need to have some foundations in place before you can really implement on that. So um, if you're having difficulties, I would really highly encourage you to register for that free training coming up where we're talking about the larynx position because that will help you to put the twang into practice and put the belt into practice as well. So I will link to that training here down below. And please don't forget that this is a practice. Many singers, they're trying one technique, it doesn't work for them, and then they just leave it at the side and they're never looking at it again. This is something that requires consistent practice. It has to come into that vocal muscle memory. So I would highly encourage you to come back to this video and, and, and watch this again and do these exercises again and really play with that twang so that you can start to feel that feeling of belt. So I'm so happy for you. This is great. This is, this is an amazing technique to work with. Anyway, thank you so much for having been here. I hope this really helped you to find a little door towards belt. And now it's just a matter of stepping into that world and really uh, mastering the belt. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for having spent your time here. I really appreciate that. And um, I'll see you again very soon. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>